insects are like caviar. It's not something that you have to be afraid of. Actually, it's a delicacy. It's something that uh, you have to try and be open to try new things, educate your palate from uh, different cuisines. If you're treating well, it's going to be something beautiful. As a chef, it's important for me and for all my team to teach the people the Mexican food is not only tacos, enchiladas, and burritos, and guacamole. It's more than that. So we have 32 states. Each uh, state has their own cuisine. We try to bring a little piece of Mexico, one piece at a time. Some of our dishes in the menu have insects. Some of them don't. Plates that we have with insects, some you can see physically the insects in the plate and in some of the dishes we hide the, uh, the, the insect, but you can taste them. And it's a way to invite the people to, to eat them without the fear of seeing the insect. I think it's the most easy way to live in the experience of have some insects in your meal. The insects that I use are uh, seasonal. I try to travel to Mexico every two months and I bring the what is on season. For us, it's a, something uh, cultural because in, uh, each of the 32 states of Mexico has their own insects. They eat uh, in a different ways, and it's a cultural thing. In the restaurant, I can say uh, you can start with the guacamole because you don't gonna see the ants. You gonna taste them. You gonna uh, feel the, the flavor. It's a lot of colors and a lot of things that go in the guacamole that you don't going to feel afraid of try because it's not like you put a huge grasshopper in, oh, it's looking nice. Many people travel to Mexico. Many people drink mezcal, right, or uh, tequila. And usually you see the agave worm inside, so one way or other you already taste them. The agave worms have this beautiful perfume. When you mix with the richness of the bone marrow, besides adding some uh, textures to the, to the marrow, the worms are really crispy. Normally, they are really soft, but uh, the ones I have right here, uh, right now, dry. So we soak it with butter, some uh, epazote and some chilies. So it's a way to rehydrate the worm. So it's gonna be like, like a crunchy agave worm chip over the creamy bone marrow. So you can take it in a, as a chip. I make croquettes out of everything. And uh, one day I say, why we don't make uh, chapulín croquettes? I take some ingredients from uh, different latitudes, like the yuca, and I uh, use the yuca instead of the potatoes to make the, uh, the croquettes, and I add the chapulines, or grasshoppers. They are from Oaxaca, which is a snack that you can find in every corner. And we find uh, when we fry the croquettes and the grasshoppers are really crunchy and uh, when the queso manchego start melting inside the, the croquette, it comes like a, a little pocket which uh, full of cheese and, uh, and flavor and uh, the spiciness. The first time that I saw the grasshoppers, my grandma brings some uh, like a kilo or something like that from the market. And uh, she said that day that we're gonna have tacos. My brothers start crying because they don't wanna eat. And my grandma tell us to, you have to try, you have to be open and uh, try new things. And when I tried uh, that taco, I start love the flavor of them. I was thinking the, when we make the taco, uh, first the crispy tortilla with the uh, cheese and beans and uh, the grasshoppers on the top. So we're thinking to make a taco, but uh, in a different way, you know, with more delicate and more eye appealing. We take the grasshoppers and we dry them out. We make a flour out of them, and we use them as a, like a coating 
for the shrimps. I think the grasshoppers enhance the, the flavor of the shrimps when we fry it and when we serve it, uh, when we serve it in the taco. And then we finish the taco with some grasshopper salsa, reinforce the flavor of the shrimp and the grasshoppers uh, in the taco. When I was a child, I always uh, in the kitchen with my grandma. She take me to the markets all the time and uh, I started to uh, love the flavors and love the uh, aromas and colors of the mercados. After a while, I get in love in the kitchen. I travel a lot to the little village up on the mountain of Oaxaca and I try to rescue those receipts that uh, a lot of people uh, forget about it. And I try to make a twist, put my personal touch on uh, each of those receipts. As a chef, it's important for me to feel that I leave something to remember to our guests.